finally back doing another adventure. It's been a long time. I am uh, meeting up with some friends, but I got here about 30 minutes before they're going to, so I parked down near uh, Silver Lake on Highway 88. Gonna take my camera, gonna go check it out. I actually haven't been down there before. I've been to this parking little spot where I am now, but I've never been down to the lakes. I'm gonna go check it out um, for the next 30 minutes or so and then head to the trailhead where I'm meeting my friends. Oh yeah. This is looking really nice. I'm so glad I came down here. Check this out. The water's really low, so all this exposed rock that's usually covered by water and this kind of gravelly beach, but it's actually it's actually really soft. It's surprisingly soft. Woo! This is beautiful. Yeah. It feels really nice out here. I'm gonna get out of this wind so you guys can hear me talk. Maybe get in some shade too. There we go. So it's supposed to be 92 in the valley today. I was not excited and then I, uh, my friend Bobby hit me up, was like, hey, you wanna go climbing? I was like, absolutely, yes, let's do it. Um, I, well, actually, we're probably gonna do some more actual uh, exploring or development of a climbing area. Um, but I was all in. It's about a two hour drive, but that's totally worth it. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, I just got this super sweet, I don't know if you can see it, uh, Mammut jacket. Yesterday at REI is like 50% off and it's super lightweight and thin, but it's awesome. So I'm pretty excited about that. I uh, wanted, wanted to test it out a little bit today and super glad I came down here to the lake. This is just absolutely amazing. I, you know, I gotta say for, a, this is totally worth a two hour drive, you know? Uh, I have the time to come out. It's just the money spent on gas is well worth coming out here. Um, absolutely. And man, check it out. It's just amazing. Also, I need to get a mic. But that's not what I was going to say. That up there, my friends, is snow. Um, I'm so excited for just being able to come out here and get away for a day and just be able to check out this beautiful beautiful area. This is just, uh, I don't know why I uh, never came down here during the summer. We were just always uh, across the road doing stuff, never got down to the lake here. So this is Silver Lake off of 88. If you ever have a chance, definitely come check it out. Look at that, that thing's just huge. It's uprooted a long time ago. All right, well, I'm gonna head back up to the car because um, it'll take me five minutes to get up there and then it's a couple minute drive to where I'm meeting uh, my friends. But as you can tell, I wasn't sharing this place with anybody. I had it all to myself to see me. This time of year, there's just nobody out here. It's a uh, pretty barren landscape. The summer's over, people are done vacationing. And um, for the most part, it's getting, it's getting pretty cold, you know? And nights would be really cold out here. Um, I'm sure it's getting below freezing already, that's why there was the snow up on the mountain. There's just nobody out here. Man, I can tell just in the time from being at Lodi. 
the elevation gets to me a little bit. This is about 7,000 feet. We're gonna be hiking at about 8,000 feet today. And that's why it's so cold. But that's crazy, you know. Lodi is maybe a couple hundred feet uh, above sea level. And 91, 92 today. 8,000 feet coming over the 8,000 foot pass. It was reading 56 on my car's thermometer. Super excited about this. So let's get back to the car. It is hot in here, even though the sun, even though it's so cool outside with the sun shining on the car. I was gone for 15, 20 minutes and it is boiling, but I don't know if you can see. Let's see if we can get it to show. Yeah, my car's thermometer says 55 degrees. That is probably not totally accurate, but it's definitely in the mid, maybe upper 50s, maybe low 50s. I'm not sure which direction it's inaccurate to. Let's, uh, let's head up to the Shilor uh, Trailhead parking area. That's where I'm meeting them. And we're headed out to the Shilor Lakes area to look for some new climbing uh, potential. Um, and we've been developing out in this area already, but we're looking for some new stuff. I really want to jump in, but it's going to be way too cold. You're crazy. Drive pretty quickly. Yeah, but then I have to walk around in spandex shorts for 30 minutes. Hold on. I'm going to... Alright, you ready? Dude! So, how was it? Oh, that was very refreshing. <laughs> my, my chest hurts a little bit. I bet. Oh, done. Ah, oh, man. Dude, this is so... I like this lake a lot. We're okay. That was refreshing. Tiny. But courageous. Oh, you missed it. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> seen was there's a big left facing corner like this but it made a big arch like it was clearly near vertical at the base tiny old sacred trees Oh my goodness! You gotta be kidding me! There you go, just start climbing. Yeah. Spider-Man it up. Oh, 
I can barely climb, climb down things. Oh, the, the lake. Or a lake. A lake. Slat our pond, tiny, tiny minuscule pond. This is so cool. No, we can't do that. Ah, my feet are getting wet. Bobby, what in the blazes? And right there is the money maker. Do it. Well, look at that. Oh yeah. It would be hard in itself. On, like, honestly, it would be worth just like cleaning it, put anchors at the top and top roping it. Yeah. Trying to figure out, okay, like, could you do it gear, like mixed a couple bolts through the first half and then gear the rest of the way. I mean, inevitably somebody super strong would come and just place there and then just run it out yeah. to where they could place next. But if you place there, your next placement is 20 feet higher yeah, and you're gonna deck yeah, if you fall, 100%. Snow, more snow, makes me so happy. Cause every little thing is gonna be all right. Shilor Lake. How many rocks can you have? <laughs> Just keep cool. cool. Alright. See you guys. Don't wreck your car or die or something. All right, just got here. There's a little bit of a trail, which is kind of cool. The couple that I was out hanging out with today, Bobby and Anna, they um, they had said they'd been here before, a while back. So it was really cool, and I don't I don't have to be back for anything. Figured it would be worth coming and checking out. I figured. Come out here. Oh, cool. It's like benches and everything. Look at this view. Oh, man. This is pretty amazing. I figured I'd come out here and uh, hang out a little bit, eat some of my snacks, just enjoy the scenery actually check this out oh it's like a backrest this is nice this is really nice it's really beautiful where we were was down that way a ways oh man so much so much rock it's just absolutely beautiful Time for some uh, snacks. Pistachios. Good, healthy, nutritious, delicious, and fun because you get to break the shell. So I gotta say, all in all, today was a really, really good day. Um, had a meeting this morning, so I felt like I still did some stuff, like a worthwhile day. Silver Lake, absolutely amazing. If you're up in South Lake Tahoe area or 
really kind of this central, if you're in central or northern central California, this area is so worth a trip to. It's really not that far, you know, from the Central Valley, from Sacramento, Lodi, Stockton, you're looking at a two hour drive. There's just so much. The lake is so beautiful. Uh, the Shilor Lakes, it's only a mile and a half hike to Shilor Lake. Um, just 100% worth the trip. So out of our four hours of being out hiking, saw people all of, you know, 10, 11 minutes. You don't get that many places. You're not gonna get that very many places anywhere in California. Um, so I got about 55 minutes until sundown, which means I'm not gonna stay here another hour. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of pack up, head back to the car, get out of here. I mean, I can't say it enough. This was more than worth the gas money um, it takes to get out here. See you later, sun. Well, see you later, mountains and rocks and granite and beautiful nature. I will be back to be surrounded and filled with your glory soon enough. But for now, peace out.